Okay guys, so we're actually here in the shop at the American Bladesmith Society School. This is where you taught me many years ago. It's been a long time, hasn't it? It has, and today you're gonna get to teach her. Yeah. You think we're, she's we're, gonna be as good of a student as I was? She's gotta be better. Safety first. All right, let's do this. Right about here, right? right? Yep. I'm gonna try and hit it even harder. Hey, Kelly, you're doing wow. good. He didn't even beat it. Looks like a mad squirrel on cocaine. <laughs> Boy, this going. <laughs> but that's what it takes. <laughs> when you get hot enough, when your shirts begin to char off of you, the fun's out of it anymore. And so it's, it's got a, it's a lot of hard work really getting at it. We'll make a little rock. Get all the scale off of it. That'd be oh. good for John to grind it. He needs to practice on That's it. That's it. Oh man, why do I have to grind it? Well, because it's big and crooked and dirty and now you can straighten it out. John, you done a good job grinding when you were in my class. I got confidence in you. But they were years ago. You can do it, John. I know you can. I'll go ahead. I understand y'all have done the manual labor part. This is the artistic part. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah. While, while I go do the artistic portion, y'all go ahead and cut. Holy mother! The testing process unfortunately destroys the knife. There's nothing we can do about it. We will go the extra mile and soften the spine so that if somebody does something stupid like we're about to do. Yeah, yeah. do not try this at home. No. Okay. Nobody gets hurt. Go for it. Keep going. Just keep going. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, no problem. It's a dangerous job. It I'm living indeed. the danger. 